Hey there, everybody. I'm Steve Moulter, and I want to welcome you all to The Vibe. We are coming to you live here in Las Vegas at Cisco Live 2011. The Vibe is a daily show that brings you the latest exciting news and information from all around the show here at Cisco Live, and we've got a great show for you here today. We're going to hear from Dr. Guido Jure, the CTO and Vice President General Manager of the Emerging Technologies Group. And Guido is going to be talking to us about the pervasive opportunity that video presents for us. Plus, I'm going to take you on a grand tour of the Cisco booth, and then Kara Wilson is going to be here. She's going to talk to Kayvon Alakani. He's Chief Executive and Technical Officer of Lightscape. And they're going to discuss some exciting CS and App HQ store announcements. It's going to be great. But first up, we've got the Vibe's Jennifer Geisler. She is chatting with Guido Jure about how to transform your business today through video. Over to you, Jennifer. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about video. Right now, video consumes about 50% of all internet traffic, and analysts predict it's going to go up clearly to 91% of all traffic within the three years. So with me today, I have Guido Jure to join me to ask some video questions. So Guido, thank you for joining me here today. Welcome, thank you. So, just some quick questions. I mean, as you know, you head up Cisco's Emerging Technology Group, so you are the video man, for lack yes. of a better definition. Um, so, why video and why now? So why video I think primarily is because we've seen a big transition which is the web transition and that's automated transactions. But what we now are able to do with video is to virtualize interactions, the ability to deliver the expert on demand anywhere, anytime. And that's going to change education, healthcare, inside of companies, how people do business. And the reason why it's now is because now the technology has become affordable, it's become easy to use, and frankly, there's a growing need for it as the world pace of business just accelerates, right? So you need to make decisions in real time. You can't wait. So therefore, that sort of real-time nature of things means that that's why video is so important right now. And you can also do a lot more with video like we're doing here today. That's right. As far as being able to share and be able to understand a complete conversation. Now, why is Cisco so about video? I mean, it's because of the infrastructure, but why the infrastructure? What's the correlation between infrastructure and video? It's a great question, and I think the reason is because video not only loads networks, it changes networks. Okay. And it's these video endpoints that have actually a, a tight requirement with the underlying infrastructure because video is so demanding. It's so big in terms of the amount of data that it pushes across the network, and so demanding in terms of loss uh, packet loss, jitter, delay, and all those things, that ultimately if you don't design those endpoints with the capabilities of the infrastructure and vice versa, you're not going to get a great experience. So video, more than almost anything else we do, requires us to do both. It's the endpoints and the infrastructure, and the two really have to come together. So that could be the reason why we have the CS on one end, the network That's on right. the other side. Or telepresence. Or and telepresence other on that, all these type of inter enterprise endpoints that we've invested right. in on that one. Now, a little bit tougher question. I've asked uh, John Chambers a similar question too. Sure. As you look at the video landscape, what, what, what makes Cisco so much better than the competition out there? Well, one of the things is that we're unique among companies in that we're both in the endpoint business and the underlying infrastructure. A lot of our competitors will do one or the other, but not, not both. So that's one. And the other one is the breadth of our portfolio. So if you think about, we're in everything from web conferencing to unified communications, video conferencing and telepresence, and enterprise social software. So all of those things are being video enabled. So the, the breadth of our portfolio and the depth of our portfolio is second to none. Excellent on that one. And as I look around here, as we look out on the show floor, Guido, we see video everywhere, Correct. don't we? It's all around us. So, Guido, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate you joining Welcome. us on the show today. All right, thanks for having me. What's going on, Cisco Live? We are here in the Cisco main booth. Where is the Cisco main booth, you're asking yourself? You'd be in a heck of a amount of trouble if you miss it. It's right here in the heart of the world of solutions. It is smack dab in the center of the show floor, and I'm telling you, it is the 
place to get the answers to all of your questions from the Cisco experts. These are the people who understand all the latest technologies, the latest solutions inside and out. Seek them out, find them. What we're gonna do now is take a fast-paced walk through all the great stuff that we've got going on back in the main Cisco booth. What do you say? Let's take a stroll and see what we can find, shall we? All right, so I'm here in the Cisco Borderless Networks area, and we're gonna talk a little bit about what's going on here at Cisco Live this year. Cisco Borderless Networks is about connecting anyone, anywhere, on any device, securely, reliably, and seamlessly. Now, we've got some really exciting technical demonstrations taking place that are spanning the breadth of our core product and solutions portfolio. These demonstrations feature the latest in switching, wireless, uh, security, branch and LAN solutions, IPv6 services, video, so on. Now also here this week, Cisco is making a couple of exciting new announcements around switching and cloud solutions. So from a switching perspective, we're undergoing the largest series refresh ever across our Cisco Catalyst switching portfolio. The Catalyst 6500 is breaking a lot of new ground with the introduction of C4 or Big Bang 2 terabit portfolio. And that includes a new supervisor, a new line cards, and new service modules, along with more than 200 new iOS features and services. Then from a cloud perspective, Cisco is enabling organizations to accelerate the adoption of cloud services by extending the borderless networks to deliver secure, reliable, and optimized user experiences for these services. So when you get here into the main Cisco booth, check out these capabilities. We know you're gonna have a great time. Let's go see who else we can talk to. You can see things are going wild here. We got a ton of people here in the main Cisco booth. And right now what I want to do is I want to talk a little data center here in the main Cisco booth. I've got Marcus Phipps over here with me. Marcus is Senior Manager Data Center and Virtualization Solutions Marketing. So Marcus, talk to us. What do you have in store for attendees, all these great people who are stopping by yep. Cisco Live well, this year? You said a little bit of data center. We actually have a lot of great technology and great solutions that we're showing here. It's all really based around Cisco's data center fabric, which brings together unified computing, unified fabric, and unified networking services into a portfolio of capabilities that we can use to transform the data center. Mm -hmm. So whether it's looking for data center interconnect solutions or some of our solutions with our infrastructure partners, uh, such as uh, vBlock or FlexPod, we definitely have solutions here that we could, we'd love to talk to you about. Very cool. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much, Marcus. Right. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go look around, see who else we can talk to. So, now we've got to talk a little collaboration. Collaboration is really one of the key words for Cisco Live here in Vegas 2011, and the Cisco story just is not complete without talking collaboration. I'm here today with Ann Swenson. Hi. Ann is Collaboration Architecture Lead for Cisco Services. She's going to talk to us a little bit about what the collaboration team is offering, and knock it out, it's all yours. All right, well, we've got a great demo. We're showing how collaboration can change the way you do business, if you're a customer. We actually take some business process applications like SAP and integrate them with unified communications. For example, presence, calling, caller ID, setting up web conferences. We do all of these, we can integrate it right into a business application like SAP that we're showing here, and even integrate in devices like a high definition camera that can be remotely operated. The bottom line is, by using business process integrated with collaboration, you can reduce decision making times by minutes, hours, even days. Very, very cool. And thank you so much. You're Guys, awesome. come on by, check it out. Lot to see, lot to do, lot to talk to. You know, for me personally, one of the coolest things that's going on here in the main Cisco booth is the architectures and business transformation area. We are talking about the Cisco story here in really a new and exciting and innovative way. And here to help me tell that story, I've got Gene Hall with me. Gene is Senior Manager, Enterprise Demonstrations and Customer Advisory Boards. So Gene, you're showing some really remarkable things here in this circle. Tell it to what you've got in store when they come Absolutely. on Absolutely. Well, Steve, thank you so much. And thanks for having this opportunity to tell you about the architectures of business transformation. We're thrilled to be able to offer this to, uh, to our customers at this year's Cisco Live. Uh, basically, we brought together some of the most impactful solutions uh, and cross-architecture messaging that is really going to speak to business-relevant issues that customers care about today. So, for example, uh, in, the, in this area, you can find out how your IT infrastructure can be both agile and efficient. Uh, in addition, Steve, you can find out how in a branch scenario, uh, you can be both open and controlled. Mm -hmm. And then finally, in a global collaboration scenario, in particular for uh, education, 
uh, you can find out how you can be both personal and pervasive. And we've done this, Steve, in a way that hopefully will be exciting and impactful and bring these stories to life for our customers. Very, very cool. Gene, thanks so much for taking time to talk to us. I appreciate what you say. Should we do it? Blow it Blow up. Blow it up. Boom. I'm telling you, you are going to need days to make it through this huge booth. No Cisco booth would be complete without our eight racks. They are packed with product and solutions, including borderless networks data center, service provider, and as if that's not enough, we've got the Solutions Theater. Presentations are running throughout the entire day, including demonstrations of Cisco and partner solutions. We can help you improve the way you are doing business today. Now, something else very cool, when you attend any one of the Solutions Theater presentations, you're gonna get an awesome free Cisco Live t-shirt, so come on down, take a look at what's going on here. We're going to toss it on back to the studio. We've got Kara Wilson. She's spending a few minutes with Kayvon Alakani of Lightscape. They're talking about some exciting CS and App HQ store announcements. Kara, it's all yours. Thanks, Steve. Hi, I'm Kara Wilson. Today, I'm here with Kayon Alakani, CEO of Lightscape, longtime partner, seven years of Cisco. And I'm so excited to have you here. Uh, we obviously just made a very exciting series of announcements with AppHQ last week. And you are one of our first applications that's going to be available in the AppHQ store coming up uh, at the end of this week. So tell me a little bit about that. It's called 3D, is that right? That's correct. Uh, glad to be here. Uh, 3D basically is a um, application that uses three dimensions of presence, 3D P. And uh, these are presence, availability, and location to help people make better decisions when communicating with each other. Fantastic, and I've heard there's some kind of a mobile camp on feature. I'm feeling like that would be something I would like to use. Yeah, basically um, with um, the enterprise allowing for various access levels and access controls, users can say, I want to be know I want to know when a user's available or when they're off the phone or whether they reach a specific location. So basically you set those camp on features on your CS device and as you're going about uh, your business, when those uh, conditions are met, you get notified and you can then communicate with the person that you're looking for. So if I had my CS with me and I walked into the trade show floor and I wanted to do the camp on it, somebody could actually no be notified as soon as I got in here and set that up ahead of time. Or a group of people, that's or right. Or a group of people, oh, very cool, fantastic. And tell me a little bit about why you chose CS. I know, I know you built the Android application for Android phones initially, but tell me a little bit about why Cisco and CS. Absolutely, uh, the type of access controls that are needed for this type of an app within the enterprise require enterprise grade support for provision deployment, and the rights that each user has in terms of being able, not being able to see the other person's three-dimensional presence information. So uh, the Cisco CS makes that uh, basically possible through the um, application marketplace. You can basically set the rules, preset them, categorize them for various users. Fantastic, and you can't do that on an iPad. You can't do that. The other aspect is obviously multitasking. These types of communication apps are very sensitive to running in the background, using the status of the dialer on the uh, CS app, and that uh, it's almost a natural feature out of the series. Fantastic. And you know, there's a, there's a lot of developers here at Cisco Live this week. I probably would love to ask you, what advice do you have for them as they're going in and building new applications for Cisco App HQ? Um, use the latest, greatest firmware that Cisco's making available. Make great use of the Cisco developer network. They're very uh, diligent in terms of their responses to the questions. Use the resources that Cisco's made available. I think they can uh, easily transition. And uh, uh, pre-existing applications, there's a wealth of information on them for transitioning on, on how to transition them to Cisco uh, CS device. Fantastic. Thank you so much for seeing, uh, being with us today, and uh, congratulations on your new application. I can't wait to see it. Thanks, Dr. Kier. Nice meeting you. All right, back to you, Steve. Thanks. All right, thank you so much, Kara and Jennifer. And of course, a big thank you to our guests, Guido Jure and Kayvon Alakani. We want you to join us all tomorrow for The Vibe. We've got another great show lined up for you. Jennifer is going to be chatting with Sony Giandani about technologies that are transforming the data center. Also, I'm going to give you a glimpse of the future, the future of shopping, actually. And then we're going to have an exclusive interview here with the big man himself, Cisco CEO John Chambers. We are very excited about it. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you so much for watching The Vibe. We'll see you right back here at Cisco Live tomorrow.